Hey there, this is Land of the Comedian Medium, and I am bringing you your Aries Taurus readings. Oh, let me take my Invisalign out there. <laughs> um, hit like and subscribe for your chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. Um, visit EnchantedSky.com. You can find my blog, The Wise Woman Sage, there. You can find my Facebook page. It's the same uh, Land of the Comedian Medium. Um, you can find my Instagram and my Twitter. That's L Hartgruff. Email me, all that good stuff. Um, I will respond to you very quickly. And thanks for all the support I'm getting. I'm in shock I'm getting all the support. It's awesome. Um, I will get back to you. Um, if you book a reading with me, go on Facebook and just hit a time. Um, I usually am after 5 o'clock during the weekdays and then weekends, whatever. Unless I'm teaching a class. I just taught some classes. So, um, one was on psychometry. It was a cool class. So, with that said, I'm going to get on with this. It's very cold here. We're having a little bit of a wind chill here. It's minus, I think it's supposed to be minus 10 tonight. So, and then it'll get warm again. It'll get cold. Ugh, tired of living here. Anyway, such is my life, right? All right. So now I'm a North Taurus North Node. So I get Taurus. And I get Aries too because I'm a fire sign. So I get you. I completely get you. So here we go. This is the ending of, this reading is the ending, is the, the second week of March through the rest of the March. I did a reading for um, Mercury in Retrograde that's going from February uh, 15th or 14th, um, starting tomorrow. No, wait, no, it's, excuse me, I, that's wrong, 17th, ooh, or six, 16th to 17th, I apologize, to the 6th or 7th of March, depending on, you know, like, right, cut right there. Anyway, um, so... You've gone, you've, in the past, you know, or in the, the last months or whatever, you have been going forward with some stuff. Um, you've gotten some money, you've gotten a message, you've gotten some encouragement about it, about going forward with some ideas, okay? Um, and you have gotten some money or some news about money. So you want to use that money um, in a positive way. Um, you know, the current energy of the month is more like, I've had enough, I'm not going to take it anymore type of energy, okay? Um, status quo stuff, you know, you're kind of sick and tired of the status quo. You know, it's, you're taking the bull by the horns and saying, you know, I should be doing more with my money or more with me or more with making myself happy, more with my talents, more of this, anything that gets me where I'm going, see? And I do see a new skill, a new talent, a new job, a new career, a new, because, I mean, look at this. You got, first of all, this is the work card. This is the good work card. Now, this could lead to a new job. This also could be like doing a very, very good job at your work and getting the recognition that you would like. Okay, but this, to me, looking at it this way, this is an overall energy of the month. You can see them here. Is that you got something new coming, okay, in the month of March. And I see that month of March for some reason. I saw it before. Seems like it's pivotal for a lot of people. And I think they're coming out of Mercury in retrograde. Now, Mercury in retrograde was in Pisces. Now, for some of you, you'll be like, yeah, whatever. No big deal to me. But then other people are like, oh my God, it was horrible. I, I, my car broke down. My, my electronics broke down. Um, I got my review and it was horrible. And then I hear other people, oh my God, everything just worked wonderfully. Now, for me personally, it works wonderfully if it's in my sign. Um, now, say I am a Pisces moon. So I'm thinking maybe for me, it might be okay or pretty cool. Um, certain energies shouldn't be affected too much. But it looks to me that you are going forward and I think you're coming out of Mercury in retrograde with a new attitude because Mercury in retrograde means that you're revisiting things, you're rethinking things, you're rehashing things. Old people come into your life, old thoughts, old talents, old just 
it's a time to revisit all of that. Okay. So with that said, it looks really good. Okay. Now it's urging you. Now I, my, my readings I've started on concentrating on what things they're trying to tell you throughout the month to watch out for, to try to do, to try to achieve, to try to, okay. And they're, they're urging you to break free. Okay. They're urging you to break free. All right. Well, what are you breaking free of? Now, I feel like it's an old way of thinking about money, about talent, about ability. Life's too short. Make yourself happy. But I do feel in some cases there is a king of cups here. Now, that is a water energy. Okay? That's a cancer um, Scorpio Pisces. So... It could be breaking free of somebody or something also. Or you could that could be your opportunity, the person with an opportunity coming. All right? See, you have a speed and haste. And be patient. So I feel like this person may make you an offer. Now, I don't feel like you're walking away from a person. That's why my thing is, is I maybe you're changing things up a little maybe you're depending on somebody now it's the king of cups is a very kind wise considerate person and with speed and haste you're going towards your goal so maybe this person is going to come into your life and offer you offer you a business offer you a job um hey i got something for you you know what? I want you to apply for this this promotion at work. And, okay, it could be something like that, okay? They're warning you, too, to not, even though you're going very quickly, to make sure that you're thinking everything through, being thinking clearly. They're also telling you to keep tending your garden, to keep growing stuff, to keep trying to go forward and with a lot of optimism. And at the same time, don't go crazy okay so because this is seems to me that this is going to happen fast this is a business offer this is a opportunity and i want to say you shouldn't miss this or turn this down okay um let's see what i get off my monology this isn't a bad reading it has but you have an opportunity coming um a job um a business opportunity um Something to do in the terms of money, okay? In the terms of, you know, an entrepreneurship. Um, you could even be going back to school, getting preparing to take some classes and better yourself where you can make more money, okay? Okay? First of all, don't let your help past hold you back because... You know, we get in stuck in patterns. And I, I think that that's what's, what this is. You're getting yourself unstuck slightly. Um, you're going forward. You're seeing that opportunity and you're going for it. Okay? And that, sometimes we let ourselves hold us back because we get into our little safe comfort zones. Okay? Oh, see, look at <laughs> Step out of your comfort zone. You know, that's the only way to really make, go ahead of something. To really go ahead. All right? Balance spirituality and practicality. Balance them both. Okay? You can have a good income using spirituality. Okay? I get that. Trust me. Okay? A time for healing. You know, this This is where you've come out of working in retrograde. And I feel like people, somebody's been put, that been putting some people down, maybe even bullying in the workplace. Something, I don't know. Something is there that makes me feel like you need this to boost yourself, your confidence, your self-esteem. Your okay, um, something of that nature. Conclusions. Yep, you're gonna. I feel like you're some people that they're most I am urging you to go forward and not look back. Don't do it without a little bit of a plan. That is what this is telling me. 
And you are good enough. I think well, sometimes we have deep-seated fears of that. That, you know, I don't have enough talent to do this. Or I don't have the money. I don't know how I'll come up with it. I don't know. I'm not good enough to do this. Or I, you know, even, I'm even feeling like, even like as writers, there might be some writers out there that they're not good enough to, they don't think they're good enough, okay, for anything. And this is all self-imposed, guys. Do you notice this this card? Is she's belt loosely bound, but it's all in her head. And all she has to do is reach out and grab a sword and cut herself loose, but she doesn't. So it's a self-imposed type of stuck. Okay? And that's usually what who the only person that gets us stuck is on ourselves. So I know I'm being a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm being a hypocrite, I know that. Okay, a little bit. So um, I mean I do have a plan, but but still. Okay, um, with that said, that's Land of the Comedian Medium and um, thought for the day. I mean, if you think it's bad, now I've said this once before in a couple of my things because I just saw the commercial again. The guy that sings, you think, it, you think it's bad doing the job you're doing? How about having to put the, that you're the, the person that sings diarrhea on a commercial? Imagine doing that one. Okay, with that said, it's Land of the Community Medium. I will talk to you. I'm going to try to do, I'm, I'm going to start doing them weekly readings. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I'm doing three week now. So, all right, blessings.